All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to divide a whole number by a unit fraction and uh, how to model it using a tape diagram. And really, we're gonna be looking for the pattern to make dividing uh, easy so that we don't need the model. But let's get started. Right, so when we're thinking about the problem three divided by one fourth, what we're really asking, one way to think of it, is to think of it as how many quarters or how many one fourths fit into three. So the way to think about that is to draw a picture of three. So here's my picture of three. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. And then if I want to know how many one-fourths fit into three, well, I know there's four-fourths that fit into one. So I know that this right here is four-fourths. And then over here, I see that there's four-fourths that fit there. And then lastly, way over here, I see there's four-fourths that fit there. So all I have to do is count how many fourths, whoa, how many fourths are in three, and I can see that the answer is 12. There are 12 fourths. I don't know if you hear my dog in the background is just screaming. <laughs> so anyway, um, nice idea is, uh, anyway, so that, that's, that's three divided by one fourth. So we're gonna model and represent five divided by one half in the exact same way. So let's draw a picture of what five looks like. So there's, there's our picture of what five looks like. There's one, two, three, four, five. And then we wanna know how many halves fit into five. So we wanna know how many halves fit into five. And so this hole can be cut into two halves. And then this hole, and this hole, and this hole, and this hole. So each hole can be cut into two halves. So we're asking how many halves fit into five, and of course the answer is ten. Last example that we can model is uh, let's see, 2 divided by 1 sixth, so here's our, our picture of 2 right there. So there's one hole, and there's one hole, and we want to know how many sixths fit into 2. So we need to cut how many uh, this hole into sixths, and then we're going to cut this hole into sixths. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can see that there's six sixths here. I can see that there's six sixths here. So if I wanna know how many sixths fit into two, all I have to do is do two times six, and that's gonna tell me 12 that there are 12 sixths in two. So that wraps up this lesson where we are dividing whole numbers by unit fractions, and it turns out all we have to do is multiply those two main numbers. Really, we're finding the reciprocal of that second fraction and then multiplying, but basically what we're doing is multiplying the whole number by the number of pieces that each hole is being cut into.